Masada, a scene of an ancient tragedy in the desert, not far from a city that's been called the closest place on earth to God, Jerusalem. A new film takes you deep inside the holy city in giant screen IMAX 3D. Here's a clip. At the crossroads of history, forged by centuries of conflict, is a place once believed to be the center of the world. Jerusalem. Joining us is one of the film's producers, Taryn Davis. Taryn, good morning and thanks for being here. Good morning. I watched it last night. It's breathtaking. I mean, there are some truly beautiful shots of the city and I understood why it took you guys five years to make it. Jerusalem, over its 4,000 year history, is the mo most fought over place on earth. It's been subject to 118 conflicts. It's been conquered 44 times and destroyed completely twice. Mm. Wow. But yet, to this day, it is sacred to over half the world's population. It's epic just that you were able to make this film, because there's a no-fly zone over Jerusalem, isn't it? Isn't there? So how did you, how did you make this happen? Well, um, um, there is. In fact, I don't think IMAX footage has ever been shot of the ancient city or of the, or of the Holy Land. So, so, so this is really a first. Um, these images that you see have never been um, filmed before. And in fact, when we had our script, which we showed to the experts, um, they sort of laughed at us and said, well, well you're never going to be able to, to, to get half of what it is that you're asking for. And um, over the course of a million cups of tea <laughs> and about three years, we met with every single authority that you can possibly imagine um, meeting from the Israeli government, the military, the Air Force, the governor of East Jerusalem, the religious affairs in Jordan, to name just a few of the organizations we had to meet. In creating the movie, you obviously chose three young women, a Jewish woman, a Christian woman, and a Muslim woman, and you follow them on their journey and how Jerusalem affects them independently. When I watched the film, I thought, how did they cast these three girls? Do you know, um, I mean, I in the one hand, this is a giant screen, immersive, epic experience of majestic images of the Holy Land and a cornerstone of Western civilization. But we wanted to make something that would be, that would communicate on a human level. And so we, we cast, we set out to find three young, you know, people from Jerusalem who could tell the human story of what it's like to live in this city and what this city means to them from the Jewish perspective, the Christian and the Muslim perspective. Who live, who live, I should say, we should say, I think, I mean, in the same city, but in different worlds in effect, don't they? Well, that's right. You know, they look similar. Um, they're equally intelligent. They have roots that go back for hundreds of years. They live mere footsteps from each other. But part of the mystery and the wonder is the fact that they live in separate worlds. It was fascinating to see how similar the three of them were also in terms of how their families celebrate and how they draw so much inspiration from getting to live in Jerusalem. Well, 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 yes. I mean, this is part of the wonder of what this ancient city is. Within its walls lies the very spot that Jews believe God founded the earth, where Christians believe Christ was crucified and resurrected, and where the Muslims believe that the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven. If we want to unravel the mysteries of the past, we need to go to Jerusalem. After having all those cups of tea and talking to all those people, <laughs> did filming go smoothly or did it nearly collapse a number of times? Do you know, every day, uh, was a new problem and one that you never knew that you would right. get over. Um, uh, but the wonder of the, the experience of making the film and the fact of bringing this giant screen experience back to audiences here in the United States, the opportunity to visit the Holy Land um, as we presented it here is something that was worth fighting for every day for five years. And a beautiful narration to say the least. Benedict Cumberbatch, I have yes. to admit, I mean, I'm really embarrassed, but um, unlike all of your audience, I didn't know who Benedict was <laughs> right. at the beginning of this project, but he's done such a good job. And do you know what he said? He turned to us during the, during the recording right. and he said, why didn't anyone teach me about this stuff when I was at school? Well, Taryn Davis, it is a beautiful, beautiful film. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.